Hi, thank you for clicking on this video. Yo soy Kaylee y bienvenidos a otro video. I haven't done a thrifting video in so long. It feels really good, like just a pure video dedicated to thrifting. I went to a couple different thrift stores, found some really cool pieces that I've already worn out and styled and love. Very excited to share with you, so let's get on with the thrifting. My outfit this day was really youthful. I'm wearing this Mad Hatter t-shirt that I got from Mel Bunny here on YouTube. She has a little Depop shop and then I paired it with my knee-high Converse and little Vivian bag. Look, what is that on the floor? It's all yellow. That's Goodwill floors for you. I tried on all these pants and literally only took one because most of them were too tight either in the waist or the legs or the butt. So yeah, you can guess which ones I god and which ones i didn't get <laughs> This top is literally so cute, but it's by Shein and the quality was just not there. The graphics, they were there, but the quality did not feel so great. I wish these shoes fit me because they were really cool. Guys, tomorrow we're going to the Goodwill bins because I spent $40 in the thrift store. $40. like. I can't tell you the last time I spent $40 in the thrift. But I feel bad because a lot of you guys like subscribed for thrift content and I haven't really delivered and I know a lot of you guys dress alt and so I think it'd be fun for us to go to Hot Topic together. It's but you caught. I should have gotten like a Gatorade or something. Hey guys, it's like a week later and I'm finally gonna go to the bins. I only have a couple of hours till they close, but like I had to really push myself. I feel like every time I go to the bins, I come out just tired, but I know you guys want to see the bins. I want to go to the bins because that's the cheapest place right now. Goodwill B, you saw in the last clip, I spent so much money at Goodwill. The fit for today, I'm wearing the shorts I got. I feel like the... Is it...
to the Goodwill attached to the bins, and look at this. Isn't this such a cute idea to put little charms and pendants on, like, chains? So cute. And then, of course, I came across two Twilight books. I did not pick these up, but I thought it was cool to see. So, I decided I'm going to go to one more thrift store, but I'm going to get McDonald's first. And, okay, look, is this shirt navy or black? Like... Mm, it's giving i don't know what it wants to be honestly it's giving i don't have a label that's what it's giving i came across a lot of cute mini skirts but none of them were just right although i do kind of re regret not getting this no boundaries one it was in my size and they were not in the skirt section so i think somebody tried them on and then stashed them like in their putbacks I also regret not getting this one. I didn't get it because of the price, but it's so cute. I should have just got it, honestly, but whatever, I guess. <laughs> so sad. These true religion jeans, such a cool find, but they were skinny jeans. Honestly, I should have gotten them, though. That's kind of emo, like, could have stuffed them into my knee-high converse. Dang it. Maybe I'll go back tomorrow and see if they're still there. That Abercrombie shirt, I literally was walking by and I could just tell, like, something in the color, the fabric, the stitching, I was like, dang. That's how you know I have an Abercrombie problem when I can spot an Abercrombie piece from a mile away. Then, here comes the string of Miss Me jeans. I'm obsessed. These ones were really cute and I kind of regret not getting them, but look, $29? It became kind of a game, like I would see the front, okay, look at the size, and then I turn the back, see what the back looks like. These were kind of boring, but they were wide legs, so I was like, oh, I don't know, can I pass up cute wide leg pants? Here's another pair, check the size, and then reveal, unimpressed. <laughs> Did not really like these. Okay, check the size and unimpressed <laughs> there's a couple pairs i found on depop that i really like but i was just throwing them in the cart for fun honestly i found another pair look i like those but they were too small like they were too tight those are all the pairs i found this baby doll is super cute but i was like eight dollars like i don't know man victoria's secret angels so cute it reminds me of like um what is that called like orange cream something like that popsicle orange cream pops i don't remember jonas brothers tea cute hi welcome to the thrift haul portion of the video this is a terrible idea for me to be drinking at 6 30 p.m Oh, cheers. Clink. <laughs> that tastes so good. I haven't had a peach monster in so long. We're gonna start with things I got at the first Goodwill. We'll start with these tiny little Roxy shorts. Look how stinking cute. They're like gray and black. This little Roxy tag. They have little white fuzzies on them. I did wash them, but I just laid them flat to dry, and because of that, all the lint is on them. So I don't know. I might put them in the dryer, but the thing is, they're already really tiny, and I don't want them to shrink, so... I also don't really wear short shorts, so I'm like, ugh, worst case scenario, I'll put them in my Depop, but like, I really want to push myself to get out of my comfort zone and wear these, because they're so cute, like... Okay, the next thing I got is another pair of shorts. These are shorts by the brand Decoded. They're a size 30 in men's. I was actually looking at the little boy section and I just like out of the corner of my eye saw these and I was like, wait a minute. Those are so Avril Lavigne. I never went through an, an Avril phase growing up, but Pinterest keeps recommending photos of her on my feed and I keep saving them because I'm like, okay, that outfit slaps though. Like, they're just the perfect baggy fit and colorway. They give me like Hurley, skater boy vibes. 
and i think that's why pinterest is recommending avril to me because it's like oh you like skateboarding like you probably like avril it's like i don't but maybe now i do i don't know i just need a couple like leather cuffs and like all over it i got these miss me jeans i just love all the details like the shiny embroidery here and the big buttons on the front there's a lot of like branding going on got a little penny pocket the only issue with these is that they were cut at the bottom and i was like dang like they're probably gonna be awkward fitting because every time i find jeans the thrift that are cut at the bottom like they always fit awkward but then i tried them on and they hit right at the ankle which is not ideal it's not in any shape way or form ideal but i could work with it i could work with it I'll I got this pleated mini skirt. This is by the brand Faded Rose. So I think this is Ross. I know high-waisted tennis skirts are not in style anymore, but I had one and I sold it and I always regret that I sold it. So I was like, okay, even if I don't wear it anytime soon, I wanna just have it just in case. Then as you saw in the video, I went to the Goodwill bins a couple days later and I actually I found really cute stuff but none of it fit the way I like and it's really sad but I wanted to show you nonetheless because they're so cute like imagine they fit uh, the first thing I have is this lace button up isn't that so cute like perfect for summer next I really wanted this to look good on me. It's a little tube top baby doll. Like what the, in my color? It's a perfect earthy, so cute. But it just fits me really weird on top. When I saw it, I was like, it was at the bottom of the bins. Like you really have to, every single piece of fabric, hold it up, look at it. Cause if not, you're gonna miss gems. You can't just be like, no, you have to look. You have to look. I found this Mall Goth Cyber Y2K gray hoodie. What the heck? Look. It has decals with rhinestones. The zipper has rhinestones. There's like contrast stitching. The hood has lace. Like, what the heck? I'm tempted with that other lace top to like upcycle it and use the lace on clothes that fits me and like, I don't know. I think that would be cool. I'm kind of tempted honestly, we'll see. A sleeve graphic, I love a good sleeve graphic. And then this is a back, there's like a little tramp stamp type deal. Strings have like little embellishment on it. It's 2X, 2XL. It's by Maurice, Maurice's Premium. Maurice's has really good pieces, honestly. I think they're still around too. I'm not sure, but I'm, I'm sure the clothes isn't at what it used to be. So I was already gonna pay at the bins and I came across this little purse and all over it, it says Starlet by Paris Hilton. And this is the inside, like what? <laughs> And there's pink pen marks, but I'm gonna try to clean it up. We'll see. But yeah, I did end up going to Texas Thrift after the bins, and I picked up one pair of all of all the cute pairs of Miss Me jeans. I picked up the least cutest one, but because these are wide leg, and I was like, that's what I want. I want a wide leg. Nothing too crazy. The only thing is I spent all that money on them and they're missing the top two buttons. Like I didn't notice that till I got home. So that's kind of booty, but. The last couple things I wanted to show you are like some cool pieces I found, not in these trips, but like in trips recent. And I'll start with the beloved jorts. I actually got these at the Goodwill bins. These are by Wrangler and they're a size 30, just like those plaid men's shorts. I, but yeah, I wore these out. I styled them as well. I've worn them a couple times. 
then next i found a little hollister baby doll this is like my favorite color right now what the heck the only thing is it has like this like blue green trim on it but i'm just gonna cut it off should we do that right now I definitely need to figure out a way to cover up the like edge. I might add some lace or something, but this is super cute and simple and like the perfect color. Such a pretty gray. I love finding vintage Abercrombie and Hollister at the thrift. The last thing I found is another skate piece. It is a a diamond supply co tee and when i saw this my first instinct was like why is it yellow but then i remembered that my skateboard is yellow and i was like oh well i guess it matches then so yeah i thought this would be a cute little addition to my skate clothes i don't know i also thrifted that tap out shirt for my skate video yeah if you stayed till the very end, thank you so much. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye, bro fist. I'm reading 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 1. But understand this, that in the last days there will come times of difficulty, for people will be lovers of self, lovers of money, proud, arrogant, abusive, disobedient to their parents, ungrateful, unholy, heartless, unappeasable, slanderous, without self-control, brutal, not, not loving good, treacherous, reckless, swollen with conceit, lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God, having the appearance of godliness but denying its power. Avoid such people, for among them are those who creep into households and capture weak women, burdened with sins and led astray by various passions,